then then you have the prometheus informations uh, the dependency injection and that's all so that means if if you if you try to visualize your any microservices or any web application it doesn't matter how many how much uh, how many applications are consumed how many microservices consuming for one web, web application if you think about like the amazon or paypal or or google single web pages there may be this single web page has 13 or 15 or 20 microservices called build uh, the only single web pages that's why nowadays it is important to monitor your or monitor your, your microservices applications that's why is it really critical nowadays the monitoring the microservices that's why i'm trying to give it to you for my last couple of years experience to share with you how can you think about that one and how can you start as a professional way to to build the microservices and then and then visualize those microservices with really really profile visual profile uh, visualization tool like uh, prometheus and the gafana that's that's i found really really good tools for the all levels of uh, visualization or level of monitoring that's why i said you just follow the each of the step and you can get really from the very beginning level to the up to the professional level so after when you did your dependency injections that means you give your your all the dependency that you need your actuator and then uh, micrometer core and the micrometer and then and my i micrometer for i mean registration for prometheus that means the micrometer what's the spring boot generated the matrix says information and then this matrix influence is, is registered to the prometheus dashboard that means and uh, Prometheus uh, uh, get the, this information from the micrometer, what the exposes the actuator also, and then you can visualize those information in Prometheus. That's you need the configuration, but that means you need to be pull the Docker image from the Prometheus and then start the configure the configure the your 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 application to the Prometheus, and then after the when the Prometheus is perfectly working, and then you do, you see the your dashboard, and then after that you have it uh, have then reach a uh, migrate the prometheus uh, configuration with the with the Graf grafana and then you can see the each line but i will show you that's my target through every step of the your developments so dependency injection is properly done in the pomp xml file if you are in gradle then you get build out gradle files you just inject it and that's it automatically work, works it doesn't matter so and then if i go to the this dependency is finished then you need to be go here then this is the dependency that I expected. So you see the dependency, uh, no. dependency. What you need here the management endpoints matrix is enabled true. That means this is true by default false. And then endpoint matrix that include all matrices what the your application is generated. Basically your application like here, UV subgroup, your geospatial applications. The what everything is exposed uh, from the from the actuator and the micrometer will 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 expose those endpoints and then uh, those endpoints need to be visualized to the to the your external tools. The external tool means the your 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 Prometheus and then Grafana that's that's you already got it what i mean uh, you can uh, expose those matrices and visualize this one so here you see the matrix endpoint the prometheus enable true and then a matrix says a prometheus enable true all everything is true is set that means we try to really visualize uh, or monitor the every levels of information from our applications uh, for application now it doesn't matter how many application you can configure with the prometheus it doesn't i will show you that's that's information so what you need that's exactly you need dependency injections and then you need a full line of property settings and that's all i will i will talk you a little bit later the later in a screencast how can you build this a uh, spring boot profiling concept then you can externally control those properties the that's that's i i, I have a talk about this one but i forget the screencast number but i will i will show you again how can you build those the my spring boot profiles and then how can you ex externally deploy the your uh, docker image or, or standalone jar files and then configure this done file where you try to install it and then it works automatically i will show you that's that, that's that the most important one this is the most one most important one professional people knows and every day they need to work such a way
so you need to be uh, you need to be sent to the this your application your jar files or docker image into the your other other part of the world they will install the your jar applications and then you all monitor the your dashboards all things together but i i promise you then i will show you every part of the development so that means your microservice registration you need only the dependency for the three dependency that i already talk about this one and then this is the three dependency that you need and then you need to be you have to be set up the which which uh, micro, which uh, matrix is information you try to expose and just you need to be set it here this is only for four properties and that's all enough if you need more then you can look for the maybe you can look for the hibernate matrices information sql level matrix information and so on so forth depending how much you need just you set it here and then it's automatically come up so when the when the dependency injection done property settings is done and then you just need to pack the application as a standalone jar that's I, I as i said i will explain you later this part but at the moment i just run the applications like spring boot uh, spring boot apps and that's works so application is running you see the application is running that's what i expected 8007 if his application is running then you can go our our father our testing tools that's what we are expecting that basically we are trying to test the, the application with the with the postman so this this is one of the example the postman i have a have a have experience a lot of experience in the industry and then uh, and then the professional life the many companies are they are using the postman basically and some some companies they are using swaga ui for your rest api testing that's i have it also then i will i will show you how can you also integrate the swagger and then visualize your your endpoints that's that's the next screen cut i will promise you i will build when i have time then we will try to build us those uh, those uh, those screen cuts to to make it to you how can you can do uh, do, do the test with the swagger ui or, or soap ui or postman so let's let's have a test uh, our our endpoints into the postman so you need to be postman need to be installed if i go to the, my postman and then you see that the, I have a, a many many examples to 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 test it by a postman and even though you can check it like everything is here so every project you can make a new collections and make in collections each of the project has own own test test, test collections so and this is a, one of the one of the most important things that's like what I here configure and this is one of the really professional way to 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 do this one so you don't need to take the time to type your 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 address information your http and the ip address and port number what you need to do just you need to be go to the to the global manage environmental settings in the postman's that's i already talk about the the last thing because i i forget it with the number of this thing cast but i will i will recap again this so you can go there this this button and then you can make a like add one add new environmental variables global environmental variables and then set to the name of the environment and then just set the your your services the url if you go to this there's a url i said i here is the url that i am looking for so i am lucky that running the http port 8007 and my my contact uh, uh, application context uh, url so you set this one and then after that when setting is done then you can you can go to the you here and then you see the and then calibrates and you can see that here the exactly what you configured into the url so that's this is less really professional way to handle the uh, global environmental variable setting postman and use this and uh, the global environment the settings and build the flags and then depending which flag which which url you are calling that's because every project has a my own url so this is one of the you know, that means you need to be you build a in global environmental for environmental variable and then very quickly you change it so when you you try to export these these test cases for the other guys or other 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 country they need to test it uh, you rest apis and then just you export it and that's all you finish your job is finished because it is done by the professional you export it and they will import this uh, you find your test cases and they, they can run it and then just what if they need it they will just change the, the their machines url where the microservice is installed the ip address and port number that's the, how quick how professional it is just pack it 
you put it everything really professional way give it to them and they will change like one this is the line 10 10 line 10 10 10 alphabets and then application your test case is 100% properly working that's why